Hey guys, I'm back. Just got back from a card show that was earlier today here at Rock's Dugout. Uh, picked up some cards. Thought I'd go through them with you real quick. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a lot, and primarily that's because there just isn't a lot of material out in the stores right now, and I'm just not into those one-off sets. So probably until the uh, Chrome cards come out, and I think in August will be the next time you see me start doing pack breaks. But until then, I'll just try to fill the void with other things. So anyways, still working on that 2017 refractor set for the Chrome. I got all these, they were all a quarter a piece, including that trout right there, which I was surprised that was in there. So, picked up all those, nothing major there. And then, um, he also had these two uh, reverse negative or whatever, or negative, whatever you call them. He had those in there as well, along with some Tiger cards. There's a Fulmer card, which is one of those, uh, I can't remember what you call those. It's, it's never really shown on the camera, but it's got the hologram type look to it so there you go and then Jacoby Jones rookie and then another guy he had this Jacoby Jones uh, it is a numbered card it is uh, what is that 32 of 99 I'm going to, have to lift it up just to see it because I can't it's 32 of 99 so and he's like you know what? I'll take it I'm not, I don't click the Donner's card so I would never get it he also the same guy had this uh, photo variation of the Miguel Cabrera I believe this was top series one, maybe? Yeah, series one from 2017. And you'd know it based off of that number right there. Focus, yeah, that, that 557, I guess, is a, a short print card. Plus, he's not actually playing the game of ball. He's kind of like a candid, you know, it's like warm ups or something. Same guy gave me this Matt Boyd card, which is kind of cool. Um, it is a red border. I don't know if it's numbered or anything. It is. It's four of ten, so there's you know not a lot of these out there. It's the Gifted Queen. I don't collect these cards, but you know it is Tiger's Matt Boyd and it's numbered, so I was gonna get it. And then he had this Noah Syndergaard and that um, refractor from those uh, '83 Top Throwbacks. So went around the corner. Another guy. He had this. This guy was local here in Wichita. Uh, Ron Baker rookie card, auto patch, and it is numbered. I believe. I'll flip it over and see. Yes, it is numbered right there. So, 160 of 300. So, I mean, I'll take that. It was only 10 bucks. So, I, I was really happy with that find right there. I had, most of the Baker cards there were 15. Some of them were as high as 20. It's a local thing. Um, I'm sure if you have card uh, shows in your area, you can probably see this card. It might even be like five bucks. But here in Wichita, there's a premium for that stuff because he's Wichita State Shocker. Then I got these guys here. Um, these are all 1955 tops and they are in amazing condition. I mean, they will probably grade out at a six or a seven, maybe a seven five. I mean, look at the corners and the centering on that card. It is clean. So I don't know. I might send these in for PSA just because of um, their overall condition. So I think I'm up to, say I had 52 cards. Um, I got four on the way, I believe, which I'll do another video when they arrive. And then, um, this card's got a little bit of corner wear on the corner here, but this one was five. These three were six dollars a piece, which I wasn't going to turn it down on that. On that, I can see a little corner right there on that one too. But I, I wouldn't be surprised. This this card here comes in a seven, seven five, maybe an eight. It is clean, so I will probably do that one. So I was hoping I would find some fifty-five tops at the card show today, and then the Holy Grail came out. The guy knew I was coming and he pulled out this. This is a Willie Mays 1955 Tops card. It is BBG, which is a Beckett uh, grading system, uh, 4.5. Now, he had this price tag on it of $220. And this this is what it shows, goes to show is that when you build relationships up with some of the dealers, they'll make you deals. Yeah, I said, wow, $220, that's pretty good. And honestly, I had looked it up on eBay, you know, just to see what it was going for on there. And that's what it was going for was $220. And then the guy says, but that's not your price. And I was like, oh, okay, I said, what, what's my price? And he says to you, 150 bucks. So I wasn't gonna walk away without this card. So it is an amazing condition. You can see something right there, in the, right underneath the A and the Y there, you can see a slight little crease in it. But a 4.5, I mean, I'll take it. It's, you know, it's not perfect in the corners. Now, but there's one thing about this card that a lot of people don't understand. It's not the Sandy Koufax, it's not the Roberto Clemente, but it is considered a high number. It's a 194. This card in a really, really amazing condition is super rare. 
far more rare than the Kofax and the Clemente cards because it's the, I, I believe the high numbers were a short print version. Um, the condition on these cards is highly sought after on the on these more than these. These are all low numbers. These were from like the, I think I think that's card three. It's a couple of these are forty. Another one's I don't remember what it was, but but if you can find a Willie Mays card in really good shape, you really got something great. I mean. The, the price just skyrockets the the higher the grading is now obviously it was PSA it probably hold a little bit more punch but hey it's already encapsulated I've got it I'm good I don't have to send it away like I'm probably gonna have to send some of these away but um, those are my finds from the show I hope you enjoyed the video um, I will be posting another one as soon as I get the, um, the items in from eBay I picked up some more 55s which I'll, I'll show off they're all uh, PSA graded and then we're getting close to 200 subs, so I'm still going to try to get uh, that done. I followed up with a guy today on the Al K line uh, card that was sent into PSA, and it is on the block. So hopefully he'll be back here shortly. He'll contact me as soon as possible. And then I can finally give that 100 sub giveaway uh, card away. And I'm glad I didn't announce what I'm giving away because it's probably going to change. I'm probably going to do something more current. And by the time it gets back, heck, maybe Chrome will be out. I'll give a pack of Chrome but baseball card away or something like that. But anyways... Enough rambling. Enjoy. We'll talk to you later. Bye.